dude. Um, let's just get into it. Let's uh, let's watch these real quick. Let's see. Live stream fails. Aspen Gold on the 39 DAF allegations. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Here we go. Here we go with a chud take, everybody. Watch. I guarantee he's gonna be like. What's he going to say? What is he going to say? He's going to say something like, if they said this, if she was saying this about a black person, it would be totally, and she would be completely canceled and never allowed back into society. I guarantee that's what he's going to say. So this whole thing is about 39 Daft saying the C word. Uh, she had to make a whole twit longer because ever since then, people have been trying to like on Twitter get like, cancel her like not just cancel her cancel her that fake uh idea but they're actually like going to her sponsors and trying to like get her sponsors to drop her and things like that because she said the c word um but uh let's just hear i think that's what asmund gold's take is gonna be let's just hear it dreamed Oh, Let's just hear the TV it. And first up in the news, we have 39 Daft. Yesterday, Daft posted a message on Twitlonger via a Twitter account in response to the accusations and criticism that she has received after making some unfavorable comments about Caucasians. In a Twitlonger post... <laughs> about Caucasians! <laughs> some unfavorable comments about Caucasians! She acknowledged that she had made some comments that targeted race. However, she also clarified that some of her statements were distorted and taken out of context, which resulted in them being perceived more negatively than intended. If you guys want to read the full tweet longer post, the link is in the description. Here's Asmongod's take. The C word isn't a slur. Just gonna say, it's not. I can't say not that. C word's not a slur. It's like, if somebody had made these jokes about black people, they would oh never be God. getting them banned. If they had made these jokes about Asians or Mexicans or something like that, they would never be getting unbound. Like, I understand that, you know, jokes are not racism, but like, that's not really true. Whenever jokes can every be other racism. form no, of can. joke would be considered ban bannable. There can be racist like, jokes. Come on. Nick on OTK. So, what he's doing right there is saying, oh, the C word is the same as the N word. It's not. Like, like when you say the C word to a white person, it means nothing. The most it could do to somebody is just, oh, my feelings are hurt a little bit. Whereas the N word is actually backed by historical oppression and systemic oppression that still exists today. It is a word that was used to hold power over a group of people. You can't compare it. You just look like a fucking idiot. Love Asmongold, but you just look fucking dumb when you do that stupid don't understand history and you're just trying to be like white people are oppressed and people are trying to trying to be racist to us we're about to be the oppressed class it's the same thing as when somebody is being racist toward a black person not okay for best you actually put any effort to any streamed events or anything like that doesn't Vashojo just play together you know and like does 100 Thieves even make streamed content? Last time I remember, 100 Thieves did, you know, a really cool big event. They didn't even stream it. They just made TikToks, you know, at this, like, at a, at a camp. OTK did two things last year. I mean, that's the exact, we saw this clip, but that's the exact reason why I voted for OTK. It's just because they're the ones that trying to do Twitch content. Every day, it was Miss Kiff reveals why he thinks Kai should be streamer of the I year. I was the best streamer of 2022. Not even a, f well, not even close 